Okay, a little breezy, not too bad. We're going to, David and I, we're going to head out of here. Oh yeah, I got some wind on us today. wanted to fly. Turn about 35 miles per hour, got a good breeze up here. Not too bad. A little choppy. It's about uh, 7 o'clock. It's a short t-shirt, short shorts kind of day. 81 degrees all the way up to uh, 8 o'clock tonight at least. So we're going to be uh, out enjoying a, a nice evening. About uh, 290 feet in the air. 38.5 miles an hour. About 5200 RPM. With the wind pushing us, there's not a whole lot of lift, so we're going to crank up the RPMs a little bit to keep the, the elevation up, 40 miles an hour, 421 feet, dropping down on the RPMs a little bit. We're going to get over here, uh, hopefully across the... Uh, to this open field, these open fields, the bigger ones, and to do some flying over there. We'll see what it feels like down there. All right, it's not too bad up here. We're at uh, 375 feet. It's a little bumpy, but not bad, going with the wind. And our thought for tonight is that we'd go with the wind out, and it should die down and we'll come back uh, with a very light wind coming back. So that's the plan. If not, we're going to go out and then get a big breeze coming back, and we're just going to park it at Walmart or something. I think we're going to be okay. We've got plenty of fuel. We usually fly for about an hour, so uh, we should be okay. We both have about two hours to a little bit more than two hours uh, worth of fuel that we carry. Trims are out to about six. And I wanted to put them at the six because I knew that breeze taking off was going to give me a whole lot of lift. And uh, I definitely stuttered there for a little bit. Uh, almost wanted to pull me into a turtle with all the, the wind that caught the wing. But uh, Probably could have gone out to nine. Started off at nine. David's uh, modified the strike, put a new uh, seat in it. Real cool cushion seat. Added different hang points. So uh, watched him take off and uh, wanted to see what his hang point looked like. He's a little nose light, maybe. But from here, it looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, it gets bounced around. It's kind of twisted left to right here. I'm surprised the KOA is not very full. Of course, Memorial Day weekend's over, but normally after Memorial Day weekend, you get a lot of people that start camping for a lot longer. Yeah, a bunch of vultures down there. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. 
he's flapping his wings a lot, so he must not be catching too many thermals. Well, there's a whole bunch of back over here in the corner, probably something dead. Because it would suck if it was eating something live. We're about 7.5 miles away from the LZ. So we're doing about 22 right now. Seems like we're barely moving compared to uh, what we were doing. We'll see if we can find some different air here a bit lower. There's a big lake over there. Never been there before. It will slowly turn into the wind. We've covered uh, 14.5 miles. So the, the question always remains, is a cross-country flight when you leave the area of the LZ? So if you fly around the LZ in circles all day, but you go 20 miles around in circles above the LZ, do you call that a cross-country, or if you leave the area and fly 20 miles away, is that a cross-country? Is it a total number of miles? Is it a distance away? What makes it a cross-country? Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, let's see. If I do a touch go in the middle of a field somewhere, does that make it a cross country? Or do I have to land and reset the wing to make it a cross country? Flying for uh, 31 minutes. We're about 6.6 uh, .6 miles away from the OC. Seems like it's starting to smooth down. Of course, as soon as I say that, we'll We'll get beat up by a All right, we get on the other side of the highway here. I'm going to drop down to the field. Looking for David here. Let's see if I can find him. got that green and blue wing that matches. It just blends into the sky and trees. There he is. About 22, 23 miles an hour, so we're coming down a, a bit. A little smoother down here. Goes a deer running across the field. Must have been out there eating dirt. There's not much out there. Either that or he's eating corn seed or, or uh, soybeans, whatever they planted. I see David's shadow off to the left of me. See mine than David. So he's close. Yeah, you can tell that there's still a breeze. I might get sideways to it. They really want to take me back around, but it's not too bad. You can 
see the corn coming up. I think it's corn. Predominantly uh, soybeans and corn in this area. Good little kids down there fishing, waving. Always like to wave the little kids. They're so excited. Shadows kind of glowing down there. I'm trying to catch it, but I don't think I will. About 4.2 miles from the LZ. Get some lip coming up off the other side, this railroad track. trains. I sure hope there's no train coming behind me. Scare the hell out of me. Well, we've been 20.4 miles. Flying for about 43 minutes. about 3.4 miles from the heat you know. We've been flying for about an hour and five minutes now. Uh, 27, almost 28 miles we've gone. Which, once again, the question is, is that cross country? We're about a mile and a little bit more than a mile away from the LZ. Wind is still steady from the east. But it's been a laminate wind. It's just a strong, or a mild, steady wind, which we really don't get a whole lot of real steady winds. They're usually gusty. around to see if there's any airplanes in the area. Check the hangars to see if they're open. Got about a half a tank left. Flying for an hour and seven, eight minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trims into about three on both sides and go ahead and land. A bunch of birds in the runway. What are those geese? Got geese in the runway. babies. Yeah, mama and their babies. They're just a waddling away over there. Yeah, they're a little bit older than babies. Pretty fast. Land about 32 miles an hour here landing. This is going to be a quick one here, folks. Oh, okay, put it in the truck. Oh, 32 mile an hour, that's pretty quick.